Yeah? What? You have to protect what's important to you on your own. Something up? I've got one word for you. Reversal Mount. Oh wait, that's two words. What? <laughs> He's so defensive. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Last time, we emerged victorious from Miss Stralton City Gym, and we got a mission from Juniper saying that she wishes for us to make it to Opelucid City, and to do that, we're gonna have to go through somewhere or another. This time, looks like the professor's reached a stopping point in her investigation. Ready to hop aboard my plane? Roger, come talk to me. What do you say? Hi there, looks like I kept you waiting. Sorry. Uh, shall we give Skylar a chance to show us her piloting skills? <laughs> ready for takeoff. Okay, Skyla, we're ready. Please take us to Lentimus Town. I reiterate, where? Wait! You guys, wait, 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 wait. I wanna fly too. I wanna do some research in Reversal Mountain. <laughs> Bianca, you're here. Yes, she is. You're starting to show that you're starting to show the dedication of a serious researcher these days. Okay, everyone, off we go to Lentimos Town. <laughs> Looks like everyone's here. Finally, it's time to fly to the unit. It's time to fly Unova Skies. Welcome to the middle of freaking nowhere. Well, I suppose I should tell you why I brought you out here. Yeah. <laughs> Charon told me that a group of people calling themselves Team Plasma are planning to use legendary Pokemon to take over the Unova region. As you may know, in the Unova region, there are two legendary dragon type Pokemon, Reshiram and Zekrom. But two years ago, Reshiram and Zekrom each recognized a trainer as a hero. They are following those trainers. So Team Plasma shouldn't be able to use the dragon type Pokemon. That's true. What could they be planning? There is much we don't know about Reshiram and Zekrom. That's why I want to hear what Opelucid City's gym leader, Drayden, has to say about this. He's a dragon-type gym leader, so he might know something. So, we're finally to the reason why I brought you here. I want you to go to Opelucid City and hear what Drayden has to say. And I would like you to tell me if something happens. No! Yes, that is the more reasonable response. It's best not to get involved with Team Plasma, but... Hearing what Drayden has to say about the Dragon-type Pokémon would be really interesting, and more importantly, it will help you fill up pages of your Pokédex. I'll be in the volcano just beyond it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go! I'll be in the volcano, guys! See you later! I'm gonna investigate the rumors I've been hearing about a rare Fire-type Pokémon in first match. It just says it so nonchalantly. <laughs> That's Bianca for you. Dedication. Drayden is a gym leader, so unless you defeat him in a Pokémon battle, he probably won't talk to you. Deliver a lot of cargo quickly. That is Lentimus Cargo Service. Would you like, nah, we don't need to go back. We have a quick way back, even if we can't fly. I wanna show where we ended up. Yeah. So, we're pretty far away. I said that the non-linearity of the region um, kind of feels like a response to criticism, and you can kind of see how we're just zigzagging all over the place, and we end up all the way over here, and. Yeah, it's pretty cool how the movement around the region isn't quite as predictable. You really don't know what's coming next a lot of the time. Lentimus Town is probably the most remote location that's ever been in a main series Pokemon game. If the season changes, the scenery, the plane changes. If the climate changes, our local architecture changes. It is so easily interrupted. <laughs> Hello, is this Blaze? I'm gonna work harder and harder and become a great si- Never mind, uh, my job is top secret. How about you, Blaze? The word wise comes to mind for some reason. Am I right? Oops. My colleague is calling me. I have to get back to work. Goodbye. Lentimus Town is quite possibly the most underrepresented town in a main series Pokemon game. It was never in the anime. I could find no information about it ever being in any manga adaptation of this game. It's routinely skipped over in the Expanded Universe, and it's only in the backgrounds of a couple of Pokémon cards. I like to think of it as the best-kept secret of the Pokémon series, because unless you've played this one specific game, you've likely never heard of this place. I can't think of another location with this status, and it's pretty unique with the Adobe huts and even the music, too. It's 
kind of Samba-y. Not a lot of songs in Pokemon like that. This quiz is difficult. What will happen if you press select when you are checking the town map? I don't know, because I don't have one. What ha does happen if you press select? Oh, it's the zoom button. I mean, I, I got a touch screen. I don't know about you. I just use a touch screen for that. This is the main reason to come back to Lentimus Town. It has its own move tutor who works for blue shards. And I have no idea what we're gonna get here. I love being surprised. Last Resort is a powerful normal type move of 150 power that can only be used after all the other moves in a Pokemon's moveset have been used. Theoretically, one could give a Pokemon a move like Fake Out and Last Resort only, or could just only know Last Resort and be able to use this move all the time. It's ill-advised, but it is a fun strategy that I kind of like. Iron Defense sharply raises the defense stat. I got Acid Armor, and no one can even learn- Wow, two of you are still dead. <laughs> I <laughs> you guys missed the flight! I know they're- You guys slept on the plane over here, wow. Magnet Rise makes you float in the air, uh, making you immune to ground-type moves for four turns. McFly could learn it and get no weakness, but I don't really care. Magic Coat is a move that I saw in Gen 3 and had no idea what the hell it did for years, and then I just looked it up and saw that, yeah, it reflects, um, sort of damaging status moves like Leech Seed. Block prevents Pokémon from retreating. Hyper Voice, uh, does, uh, it's a high, it's a, uh, special normal type move. Electro Web lowers the opponent's speed stat while being a special electric type move. We heard about this before. We can learn it on a McFly. It's a signature move for Joltik by level up only. This is the first time that it ever became available for other Pokemon besides Joltik with this move tutor. I have eight of these things. I just realized I hadn't looked at that. Icy Wind is a priceless move for double battles. God awful at anything else. It can hit both targets in a double battle while reducing their speed. Iron Tail is a Steel-type physical move that lowers the opponent's defense stats. Steel's a pretty bad attacking type, and it's not something that I really want to carry with me, but I'll, I'll check it out, see if there's anybody who can learn it for interesting coverage. Aiden. And Pig... Pignati? I mean, sure, I guess the Hot Metal would hurt pretty badly if you hit somebody with it. Aqua Tail is a move I can't stand. It's a physical water move, so points for originality there. It's 90 power, but only 90% accurate. They couldn't spring for 100% accuracy with this thing, and I swear to you, it doesn't matter what you do, this move just misses all the freaking time. I, I feel like I never hit with it, and it's so annoying to me that it shouldn't be as inaccurate as it is. And it should have 100% accuracy, but it doesn't. Earth power, a special ground type move could be useful on Vibrava with it being more special based. Yeah, you can learn that. Zen Headbutt, physical psychic type move that may cause the opponent to flinch. Foul Play uses the opponent's attack stat against it. I've hyped this move up a lot over time. None of us can learn it. Superpower, finally accessible on tons of Pokemon. A, an incredibly powerful fighting type move of, I believe, 150 power, but lowers the user's attack and defense in order to use it. Don't have enough blue shards to even see if we can learn that. Gravity, for uh, 10 shards, uh, negates levitate and flying type, making it possible to hit Pokemon that would normally be immune to ground type. Dragon Pulse could be decent on Vibrava. And Dark Pulse. That's an 80 power, 100% accurate, special dark type move with a chance to make the opponent flinch. Good, good move. Now the question is, do I save up two more shards and go for Dragon Pulse? Or do I just learn Earth Power now, because that's probably going to be Vibrava's main attack? Oh! Your attack is higher than your special attack! I was wrong! I thought your special attack was higher than your- Oh, no, 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 no! We are not learning Earth Power! I'm gonna get two blue shards, and you're learning Dragon Pulse right now, Missy! Right after I heal, it's bothering me that I'm not healed. Get in the door, thank you. Gosh, usually the bike is too fast for me to get into a door, now running is too fast for me to get into a door. Before you know it, I'm gonna be walking in video games because I'm too old. I'm talking about my age a lot, but really, I don't feel old. I, I am in my 30s, but I feel pretty young for my age, honestly. I've always said that my childhood was kind of crappy, so I would make my adulthood the childhood I never got to have, and I think I've done a pretty good job living up to that. Oh. I was gonna fly to Amethyst Avenue to hopefully buy some shards from these grab bags, 
And then I realized that today I also changed the clock to show things in videos. I call it being in timeout. Instead, I went to the put and forfeited. X. Wait, this guy's name is X? His name is X! X versus Blaze! How unlucky that you have to battle me in the first <laughs> This guy's living up to his name. <laughs> he has an Archaeops. The man in the corner there looks like he's sick with the flu in an anime or something. Just look at those eyes! I have failed this 12 times in a row, and it's a 1 in 4 shot! Give me a blue shard! I only need two of them! I thought this would be easy! <laughs> Lucky 13, apparently! McFly, this is your fault. Uh, and I finally got one It was in a rental tournament because I wanted to see if that affected anything. And I'm convinced that because it wasn't my own party tainted by his luck, that's why I was suddenly able to get it. 16 tries to get a 1 in 4 chance twice! I'm half odds! It's night?! <laughs> that took so long that it's night time! Okay, it was really only about 20 minutes, but that's still, that's really funny looking that it's actually night. I wasn't expecting that. Jade, you'd better be grateful for this. I could buy superpower, I could buy gravity, I could buy Dragon Balls. Have I looked and see if anybody can learn Dark Pulse? Heart. Hmm. Decisions. Let me think about this for a second. I gave some things a look, and no, I don't want to give Dark Pulse to Harmony. We got a ghost type move coming right up. Ghost and Dark are almost identical offensively. We're better off playing into dragon type moves for Jade. This is a 90 power move. No secondary effect, sadly, but it'll just be nice having a reliable neutral move that we can hit stuff with when we don't know what else to do. Yes, we'll get more mileage out of this by far because it's going to be a long, long time before Jade gets a better dragon type move. I feel like Jade might as well not even be a dragon type without that. Oh, wow, the wind blowing here at nighttime is just so cool looking. I'm fine even though- I'm fine even right by a volcano thanks to my little croc rock. It really rocks! He'll just, uh, shield you with his body in case of a volcanic eruption. He's trained for such an occasion. I was born here and will die here. Lentimus Town is a country town, but I don't mind because I don't know anywhere else. Hmm, you spoke to me. You're quite a good trainer. Okay, I like you. Take this TM. TM57 Charge Beam, an electric type special move that boosts the user's special attack stat. It's not a super strong move or anything, but it could be kind of nice to just do chip damage, finish off an enemy with it, maybe get yourself a little buff in the process, though only 90% accurate, sadly. McFly can learn it and so can Harmony. Uh, sure, we'll ditch it in Hypnosis for a little while and try it out to see if it works out better for us. Gosh, that old man reminds me of how, like, you know, people who live in the crappiest parts of a country think that it's awesome, you know? Just because they don't know any better. There's nothing but beauty here, but Skyla delivers things we don't have. With them talking about Skyla providing for them, let's say we have her fly us back to Mr. Alton City really quick, just because we can. We got a flying Pokemon, but I'm going to make you pollute the environment, all just because I don't feel like pressing A more times. I meant to show something else, but because I had 37 TMs, I got an HP up as a gift here. <laughs> she has more for us later on. What I really meant to do was go back to Miss Stralton Gym. Skyla's out front. Hey, what's up? I know, since you're here, I'll tell you a little secret. Skyla, can I ask you a favor? Sure, what's up? I've decided I need a PR makeover. I want to try my new ideas with you, Skyla. A PR makeover? That's right. Here's the thing. I make what everyone thinks is cool into reality, right? Well, I get to do what I want to do, and while being a model may be difficult, most importantly, it's fun. But the hard part's really hard. I mean, everyone judges me simply based on my appearance. 
People say that I'm reserved and that I don't look like the type who would tell jokes. So I've been thinking about it constantly since then. A sophisticated joke! How should I put it? My look suggests that I'm not a lot of fun. But I'll tear down that mistaken image with my own hands. I'll say something silly and give someone an opportunity to call me out so we can all have a good laugh! Uh, okay. Okay, get a load of this. Throw that misbehaving clink in the clink! Cough agree, this is so cool. Don't you cough agree, Gus? You bought those fossils from Clay. Did you buy them on Clay Away? I love you. Eliza! These are just a bunch of bad puns. Where's the joke? Skyla, no! You're not. <laughs> You haven't lived! Exactly! If I make bad puns when I'm supposed to be telling a joke, doesn't it give people even more of an opportunity to tease me and start a funny back and forth? Um... That's a little too sophisticated for me. Actually, it's really hard to understand. Really? I guess I'll just rethink my fashion first. Sounds good. Hey, as long as we're hanging out, surely you wouldn't mind having a Pokémon battle with me, right? You bet! And don't call me Shirley. Oh, Elisa. <laughs> Never would have imagined Skyla to be the straight man out of the two of them, and Elisa to be the goofy one who just wants to be quirky and just wants to have more fun with her life. It's cool that we get to see another side to them in that way, and it... Okay, it just... It's so funny to me that the reason why Elisa is wearing a coat and shades in this game and has a totally different image is all because someone hated her telling bad puns. Back to town, the last place that we've yet to go is the Pokemon Center. Still no medal. It's been a while since we've earned a medal. I guess I'm kind of capping out on a lot of these challenges. Cool mind feels no heat. <laughs> You're a trainer, aren't you? Don't say anything, just take this. I am never not talking to people in Pokemon Centers ever again after that one guy that I missed. I just never think to do it. Pokemon holds a spell tag, it powers up ghost moves. Oh, you have a spell tag. Where in the world did you find it? Join Avenue, maybe? Hmm? Are you gonna check the volcano too? The volcano here is the same kind of volcano as Stark Mountain in the Sinnoh region. We heard that there's a big fire type Pokemon there. Hmm. Heel balls for sale, nest balls for sale, dusk balls for sale. I've still yet to use a single one of those, and we got a lot of mail for sale. <laughs> oh, Elisa, you got me on this mode. I'm not going to talk about it yet, but mail has a legitimate competitive usage. It cannot be removed from a Pokemon as a result of battle, meaning that it prevents enemies from stealing your held item or switching held items and forcing bad ones upon you. This can have a legitimate competitive application if no held item makes sense for the specific Pokemon that you're using. On this show, we like celebrating the underappreciated. Uh... Show? I don't know, it feels kind of weird to say that though, but you know what I mean. Lenti Must Town is the sort of thing that I just like learning all about it that I can, and I think I've told you everything there is to know about Lenti Must Town. So, I think we're gonna end things there. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we head out on the open road once again in a new part of the land. See you guys then. <laughs>